Working ahead to ever just a little bit more complicated equations. For example, if you have this equation, negative 2x minus 5 equals 9. Now, you're, you are not going to solve this by inspection. Boy, I wish I did. You will not be able to, I mean, you can solve it by inspection, but you're not going to. I mean, you could look at this and go, okay, well, what number one I subtract five from it gives me nine. So what number one you subtract five from it gives you nine, huh? Fourteen, and then, here, here's the next thing. Negative two times what number gives you fourteen? No, negative two times seven gives you negative fourteen. Maybe. Negative seven. So I know the answer is going to be negative seven, but that's not what we're going to do because uh, most of your mental capacity is kind of run out after that first step here. What you must realize, you use the same rules that we do for equations, okay, or simple equations. Okay, you always have to think, in order to solve, you think opposites. Okay, in other words, this equation right here is, is a combination equation. It has subtraction in it, and it has multiplication in it. So to solve it, I'm going to use addition, opposite of subtraction, and I'm going to use division, opposite of multiplication. Okay, but the one thing you must remember, when you're given those two choices, unlike order of operations, you must do the addition and subtraction first on this. Okay, and you must also remember, just like before on simple equations, step two is what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. What you do to one side, you do to the other. So, here is the nuts and proverbial rules here. Okay. So I have my choice. I got to do the two things. Remember, I said there's subtraction, so you got to do addition, and there's the multiplication, so you have to do division. You got to start with this. Okay, I got to get rid of a minusing five. And the opposite of minusing five is a plusing five in the second grade vernacular. Adding five, I have to add five to this because a minus five and a plus five gives me nothing. It goes away. But my little rule down here says if I do it to the left side, I have to do it to the right side, so I must plus 5 over here. And when I plus that 5 or add that 5 over there, I get that. I still have this left on the other side. By the way, when we solved this by inspection, remember we came up with a 14. When I covered this up, I said, hmm, what number would you subtract 5 from it gives you 9? Well, that's where the 14 comes from. And now what's left? You have to get rid of this multiplication thing, negative 2 times x. So you do the opposite of multiplying by a negative 2. And you have to, and you need to write this down. I mean, you need to do this, show me this work on your paper. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 goes away. It just gives you a 1x, which is x. But you also must do that to the other side as well. 14 divided by negative 2 is a negative 7. That is the multi-step equation, called multi-step because it took me two steps to solve it. Cameron, sir. What's that? Well, I don't know if it's a lot easier, but you're going to get a lot more confused if you try to do it that way. And this was just a really simple one. What if the numbers were in the hundreds or the thousands, or what if it was decimals or fractions or any of that stuff? Yeah, yeah, I mean, there, there comes a point when you can't, you know, here, for example, here's one, Cameron. Uh, 3x uh, plus 1.20. And I'm going to say no, it's probably not easier one, once all is said and done. Equals 5.40. I mean, if you like, Cameron, I'll let you do it by inspection and I'll do it the way I did. We'll, we'll see who gets there quicker or hot. That means. What about? Yeah, 
yeah, well, that's what that's when I said think opposite. That's what inverse operations are. When you think opposite, that's the inverse. That's the thing that un undoes it. Undoes it. All right, so you're looking at this one here. Again, it's a multi-step one because you have addition and you have multiplication again. So to solve it, you're going to have to subtract and divide, but you always do addition, subtraction stuff first with the equation. So the inverse operation for addition is my subtraction. I subtract 1.20. I subtract my 1.20. I get 4.30 equals... Yeah, as you say, that doesn't seem right. How about 4.20 equals 3x. And then once I have that, the inverse operation of multiplication, division, divide by 3, divide by 3. You might actually have to do that over here if you're not real swift at the division end of things. And you get 1.4 or 1.40 if you're really fast. Maybe not something you're going to wow your friends with, but still fun nonetheless. Now, just when you thought life was easy and this was going to be a piece of cake, here is one more step that actually makes it a three-step problem. Write this one down. Uh, 4x plus 10 plus x equals... Uh, 100. What's different about this one than the first two problems that we did? Brianna? Yeah, there's two x's, which causes a little bit of grief or a little bit of trouble. But maybe, maybe, maybe you know what we can do. Riley? It is not, because 4x plus x is not 4x squared. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x plus x is, is well. four 4x plus x. Here, let me do it out for you if you're confused on this. Here, 4x plus x means this. 4x's means you have this, plus another x. Wait, wait for it. Okay. Oh, stop. What time was it about? Is it going to keep going? Yeah. No, it'll stop. There it is. Okay. So that's what we haven't got to. This, this year, it's kind of like step one half. Before you do any of the adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, step, step half is if you can combine like terms, you need to. And you'll know that you need to combine like terms if you end up with more than two terms on one side. So like we did here, you can put the x's together. I can't put the 10's together because it's not like with those, but 4x and an x is like, so it becomes 5x, we just discovered down here, plus 10 equals 100. And now it's just like the problem we just did. What is the first thing I do here, Carol Winkleman? After I combine my stuff here, I'm at this stage here. Next thing I would do is, yeah, how am I going to do that? Exactly. You got to get rid of this part first. Don't divide by five first. Always, always, always. Get rid of addition, subtraction stuff first. Subtract 10 from both sides. This goes away. You're left with 5x equaling 90. And then as you will find as you do more of these equations, the last thing you're going to do 98% of the time is whatever number is in front of that x, you're going to divide by it. So now I divide by 5. I divide by 5. Anybody 90 divided by 5? If you have to do that on paper, then by all means. I'm going to give you one to do. I am reasonably sure that two or three of you will be able to do this. 7x minus 12 plus, oh wait, I'm sorry, minus x plus 
7x minus 12 minus x equals 24. Do that for me if you will. Once upon a midnight dreary as I pondered. Anybody know the rest of it? Is it maybe point the curious now to look at that more? Good. The raven, this is nothing here. Well, many a point of curious I forgot more. As, wait, while well, I, something new, napping, something new, napping. Can't be napping yet, my chamber door. I'm going to do something. You should be done by now. Again, you will look and see there happen to be three terms here which right away should, you should say, well, I can't do that, so I have to fix that. What do you do there? What happens when you have 7x and a minus x? Drew Norquist, 7x minus x is 6x. Six 6x, six absolutely. Now, so it changes to 6x minus 12 equals 24. Next step then, Mitch, would be to do what? In my quest to get the letter x by itself, I have a choice. I've got to do the opposite of that, or I've got to do the opposite of that. Which one am I going to do the opposite of? Six. Always do the addition subtraction stuff first. That is the way down there. Opposite of subtracting 12, the inverse operation camera culprit of subtracting 12 is? Yes, or adding 12, we like to say it in seventh grade. When you add 12, I end up now with a 36 and a 6x equaling 36. And as previously stated, generally the last thing to do is Delaney. Yeah, you get rid of this by dividing it out, both sides. So your letter X should equal 6. And I'm sure you're all wondering, hmm, does that really work? Well, let's try it. Does 7 times 6 minus 12 minus 6 equal 24? That's when we try to figure out what the letter X is. Well, 7 times 6 is 42. 42 minus 12 is 30. 30 minus 6 is 